Uh, hey, there's always plenty happening around the Queen City. This month is no exception. Now we can add the golf schedule, right? Uh, Wells Fargo Championship, just a couple of days away. And there's always great eats surrounding any of those big events that happen in our city. So Cheryl Brayboy is live at the Cowfish this morning. You have us hungry, Cheryl. You had us hungry 15 minutes ago. Something tells me it's not going to get any better for us on this end of the camera. It's not going to get better for you, but it is going to get better for me because my stomach is growling right now, Kristen, and we are making a stout burger here at the Cowfish. We said there's sushi, there are burgers, and now this is the burger part of it. We're so excited. What, what's most exciting to you, Chef Echo, about the stout burger? Well, the most uh, ingredient is the secret sauce. That's the one. That's, what the, make, one. Yeah, That's one. the secret sauce right there, the mustard aioli. Yeah. That's the secret. Okay, I'm going to hop over to, to Doug over here, and he's going to walk us through this recipe. But this is going to be good, you guys, and there's more. This is not the only dish we're making. Okay, so Doug, <laughs> what makes the Stout Burger special on your spring menu? So um, to start with, we, we start with, uh, you know, our no, no antibiotic, no hormone, half pound Angus patty. Um, like Echo said, the star of the show is really the, uh, the Stout Mustard Aioli. Um, and it's just, it's, it's a great burger. I, I don't just say that it's actually one of my favorites we put on the menus now, so. Well, I will say the, the mushrooms look really good and they're piled pretty high. Yeah, the sauteed mushrooms are great. We start with those. Um, we're gonna add the, the fried onion strings here for you. Um, oh and our burgers are piled pretty high. Yeah, so they. <laughs> the we, Sky High Stout Burger, that's exactly. the we new name. We you on the, the onion straws, so. Um, and then to finish that off, like we said, we're just going to drizzle uh, a couple ounces of that mustard aioli on there um, that we use the Guinness in making. Top it, cut it in half for you, and then we've uh, chosen to pair it with our sweet potato fries today um, as a side for you. What's the most popular dish when it comes to the spring menu, do you think? Um, the Stout Burger has been one of our better sellers, as well as the Malaysian lollipop I thought we're going to get into here. Um, we do also have some crispy Brussels sprouts we just added, and a knot from Buffalo chicken sandwich, which rounds out our uh, new menu items. I hope Kristen's listening to that knot from Buffalo chicken. <laughs> yes. Okay, so we are going to make these M Malaysian chicken lollipops. What what does that entail? It sounds really exotic and delicious. Yeah, pretty pretty simple. Um, four of our chicken drumsticks here. They're going to be uh, floured, dredged in flour, and flash fried. Um, we take those. We're going to pair them with our uh, sauce here, which is just a little bit of coconut milk and some sweet chili sauce. We toss that as Echo's going to do here for us. Um, once those are nice and coated, we plate them. The plating's really cool. Um, Adds a really cool dynamic as we walk through the dining room, um, and I think it gives a sort of a showstopper effect when it hits the table for the guests as well. I mean, the star of the show right there, the yeah. Malaysian chicken lollipops. It looks so good. Spicy and sweet. Spicy and sweet, yes. The That's coconut good. milk and the, the Thai chili really comes through. So it's kind, a of a th kind of a theme, I see. Yeah, a lot of savory, a lot of sweet. All right, very good. So I'm going to give some of this a taste. I don't know if I'm going to try everything, Kristen and Mary, but I am going to get a little bit of this a taste. The spring menu folks can check it out. So all these items are going to be available right now. Um, in our location here in South Park and in Raleigh. So okay. we're excited. You can come get them. Please do. Um, enjoy. And we finished that off with just a little fried garlic and some green onion. Yeah. What is happening right now? Chef, that looks amazing. That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's how we do it. <laughs> That's how they do it. Um, you guys, do you have a preference in terms of what I taste? I, I, I do want to taste the, the sushi a little. Yeah. You know? Yeah, get in there. We said get the in JTF there. sushi roll. Yeah. Okay, you I'm going to get in here with a little purposes. bit of the sushi. It's hard to eat <laughs> on TV, but here we go. And that's the thing. Cowfish <laughs> has really big sushi pieces. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, as I was going to say, just, so you got to put it all in the mouth. You just got to, well, yeah. I could have. I could have put the whole thing in my mouth, yeah. but I didn't. <laughs> I should have. <laughs> okay. Know. Is it so yummy, though? Lollipop? Yeah, get in there. Okay, this looks really good, you guys. Um, our director, Rob, just said Jordan's <laughs> losing his mm. mind right now. Photographer Jordan. Jordan. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. This is so good. I, I just want to like eat the whole plate. Delicious, Mary Kristen. Well, we'll let you enjoy, Cheryl. We'll let you enjoy. Go ahead. Jordan. Okay. Jordan's going to fight you. Yes. Oh, thank pop. you. I know. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, Jordan wants one right now. I know he does. <laughs> All right, Cheryl. Thank you. We appreciate it. Enjoy your breakfast.